Let's create our own metallic watercolor paints. My husband bought this glitter kit online. They are called mica powders and he's planning to use it for his polymer clay arts. But when I first saw it, I knew I just had to try mixing it with my watercolor paints first. Here are the colors that I will be testing and to show the difference, let's create a swatch of these watercolor pigments first. Apologies if the bottom part was cut off, but what I have here is a pale pink, pink, yellow, and violet. Then I will mix the powder with my paints. Just matching the same color since I'm not so sure if what I'm doing is right. Mix them thoroughly and then let's create another swatch and compare to see if there is a difference. So far, there are no visible shine on the watercolor pigments mixed with the mica powder, but as shown earlier in this video, it will be evident later when this has completely dried. But it looks like a different story with this gold powder. You can already see how shiny and glittery it is on my mixing palette. I'm so excited to try this out in the landscape, so let's start the quick painting demo. As usual, I'm doing wet on wet for a smooth background. I will use the paints mixed with glittery powder all throughout the painting and let's see how it turns out. From what I heard, you can also use this powder with other medium. My hubby, as I mentioned earlier, plans to use this paint as a final coating for his mermaid clay character. So far, so good! No adjustments needed when working with this glittery mixture. The watercolor paint behaves as expected and reacts with the paper with no issues at all. Before adding the mountains, I let the first layer dry and continue working on this candy-colored sunset landscape painting. Letting it dry again and adding a darker layer of mountains with my violet and pink mixture. You can already see how shiny the golden mixture is at the bottom part where the sea is. Painting a blurred reflection of the mountain and adding birds in the background and we're almost done. Here's how it looks when still wet. You can totally see how much the gold or yellow stands out in the painting and in the color swatch. And I think it's my favorite color among the four. And here's a completely dried version. What do you think about this experiment? <laughs> 